And my view here is that the way in which I know Christianity is true is first and foremost on the basis of the witness of the Holy Spirit in my heart. And that this gives me a self-authenticating means of knowing that Christianity is true wholly apart from the evidence. And therefore, if in some historically contingent circumstances the evidence that I have available to me should turn against Christianity, I don't think that that controverts the witness of the Holy Spirit. William Lane Craig. I am sure the title of this video caught your attention. And I'm not going to lie, you know, I deliberately wanted to make it provocative um, in this in this case, um, which I don't usually do. Th this video, I want to state up front, uh, is directed not at Christians, but at atheists and freethinkers. Because I could give a rat's testicle about the high regard that William Lane Craig has held by Christians. Who gives a shit? No, I, I would really like to know why my fellow free thinkers and non-believers, agnostics, atheists, and so on, why you think this man is an honest academic who should be respected. When I was a Christian, I read some of William Lane Craig's stuff. I even had, he even spoke at Calvary Chapel where I went. I only caught half of his talk that day because I was coming out of a worship session, but that's not the point. I, I did like him when I was a Christian. Surprise, surprise. Uh, I have since spent probably the most time here on YouTube listening to his debates and watching his videos um, more than any other apologist because he is held in such high regard by, by atheists. I mean, we mock Ray Comfort, we mock Lee Strobel, up, down, and sideways, but William Lane Craig, William Lane Craig isn't, isn't in the same category as those guys. And while he may not come off as a bumbling buffoon, like Ray Comfort does. I am tired of the respect that this man gets because he doesn't fucking deserve it. Okay, I am laying down the gauntlet here about Dr. William Lane Craig. Dr. William Lane Craig has doctorates in philosophy. I don't need to tell you how I feel about philosophy and I'm not gonna get into, yes, I know it has certain practical applications. Yes, I know it has, but, but I mean, he has a doctorate in navel gazing. He also has a doctorate in theology, okay? Which might as well be a doctorate in astrology or sphincterology. What, what disciplines has this man had to study? Is he, does, he, does he read dead languages? That would be a discipline. Does he study ancient artifacts? No. He interprets bullshit and he navel gazes. William Lane Craig is a dishonest prick. Well, Agman, that's, that's a, a tough charge. Oh, really? Did you hear what I just played? Okay. First, th this guy has, and, and he has a quote in a book as well, where he expresses much the same sentiment, only he elaborates even further. Okay. And it's not taken out of context. Uh, this guy has said, look, even if the evidence goes against Christianity, uh, by the way, fucked hard it is. But, you know, that, that, that's, that's not the point. And it actually only serves to illustrate this. In his mind, right now it isn't. So, even if the evidence were to turn against Christianity, um, you know, that wouldn't basically change anything because the witness of the Holy Spirit in my heart is what makes all the difference. Well, I'll tell you what, Dr. Craig, why don't we do a scan of, of your heart and all its chambers and maybe we can find this thing. We've been looking for this Holy Spirit for a while, so being that you claim he's in your heart, I, I don't think you can get more dishonest. Here's a guy that has debate after debate, speaks, gets paid to talk about the evidence, which you and I all know isn't fucking evidence at all, but that, that's not even what I want to get into. Here's a guy who talks about the evidence for Christianity up, down, and sideways, okay, that it's just totally rational and reasonable to believe all this, and therefore, by default, you know, we should all believe it too, okay? And yet, he admits, oh, but if the evidence were to turn against what I believe, it wouldn't matter at all. So, Dr. Craig, get the fuck off the stage. There's the door. Because you basically said, I'm not objective at all. I'm not interested in what's true. Only interested in what I already know to be true. He is a dishonest prick. Let me tell you some more things about Dr. William Lane Craig. I was recently in a stick'em room with um, Honest Discussioner, uh, Smart Mouth Pundit, a few other people, and Theo Warner was there. I don't know Theo too, too well, uh, but he 
started to talk, and you can ask him about this because I'm going on his word, but I don't think he would lie about this. Um, he was talking about listening to a debate in which Dr. Craig mentioned a bunch of quotes that, in fact, were taken from a study that was done, and, and, and Theo Warner said he was having a hard time following exactly where he was sourcing this from, and so he did some research, and it turns out he was quoting Dr. Gary Habermas, another Christian apologist, uh, whom I like a little bit better than, than William Leonard Craig, by the way, um, but he was quoting Gary Habermas, and, in fact, these quotes were taken from other from historians completely out of context they were changed theo warner i think i'm not i can't quote him exactly but he said something like basically you wouldn't even know that that's where these quotes were from because they were butchered and twisted to say something they were not saying okay quote mining of quote mining of out of context nonsense okay now either dr craig is an incompetent fool or he's a dishonest prick and my money is on dishonest prick he is also a creationist okay I'll put a link to the right of the screen to a skeggs video in which you hear, you'll hear him spouting a lot of hoven bullshit about evolution here is a guy that gets up in front of people and talks about science okay talks about the Big Bang and how Hey, life had a beginning. Actually, he never he deliberately says the Big Bang, but he talks about how scientists, quote-unquote, I'm going to paraphrase him here, but he says it pretty much like, he doesn't say the words the Big Bang, but scientists tell us that the universe had a beginning, and then he goes on from there with his cosmological bullshit. Now, <laughs> I would love to know if Dr. Craig accepts um, astrophysics, because that would be just like a hypocrisy sandwich if he if he didn't because like i said he never actually says big bang he never talks about the expansion of space time he just quotes what's convenient enough for him to make his point i would be i would bet dollars to donuts i would i really would love to notice that that he doesn't accept our modern understanding of, of astrophysics and cosmology thereby completely obliterating his argument as being just fucking dishonest okay but but he doesn't accept, we know, I know, that he doesn't accept evolution, okay? So, here we have a guy who is using science to prove his fictitious sky fairy, okay? Yet, he rejects much of modern science because it, like he said, disagrees with what he knows in his heart. I'm going to put another link. Now, unfortunately, these links are two videos to a guy who's a butt monkey for, for uh, Dr. Craig. It's called Dr. Craig Videos. It's not put out by... William Lane Craig, but a fan of his, uh, and so, uh, but why, I want you to watch this debate between Hector Avalos, or listen to it rather, it's just audio, Hector Avalos and him. This was one of the best debates I've heard, because I think Bart Ehrman and other people have, have you know, destroyed his nonsense, but uh, this, this guy in particular really, to me, hit the nail on the head, and I don't have time in this video to get into the details, but listen, he, I mean, he speaks very straightforward, not a lot of doublespeak, doesn't quote, doesn't quote a bunch of Christians or atheists. Like I said in my Leaving Christianity video, you don't hear skeptics doing all this quoting. No, you, that's left up to the quote mining dishonest apologist. But no, he, he just lays out a very straight, talks about how William Lane Craig's facts aren't facts, they're stories. Okay, and, and, and Dr. Craig comes back on and basically just distorts what he said, says he didn't offer anything, and has not refuted my facts. Fucked hard. He just said, your facts aren't facts. They're stories. And what is William Lane Craig's reasoning? Oh, of course, the classic appeal to authority. Oh, well, most New Testament scholars agree that these are facts. Yeah, and most Muslim scholars agree on facts that correspond to Islamic uh, history and theology and so on. I, I mean, he, he just disregards what this guy says, just go, skirts around it, dodges it. He's a snake oil salesman. Stop respecting this man. Respect is something you have to earn. And when you lie for a living, when you're a dishonest asshole, you don't deserve respect. Just because someone is not like me and is soft-spoken and, and uses a lot of flowery language and acts all intellectual doesn't mean they're not an asshole, okay? Doesn't mean they're not dishonest. Doesn't mean they're not deserving of scorn, mockery, and ridicule. And as far as I am concerned, at this point, Dr. William Lane Craig deserves exactly that. Add man out.